let's continue the second part of the full banner guide for free to play today. Before we start the guide, I want to talk about the club in-game. Thanks to the old guy. He helped me form the loading club in-game. If any players want to chill out in-game with us, you can join now. The next banner is Karen. In the latest updates in the Japanese server, she becomes a new counter pick in the arena. However, we rarely use her in other aspects of this game. Maybe in some total assault boss, she can be useful for supplementing the damage output. The suggestion here is that this role is not important. Free to play and low spenders can pass this banner. The next banner is Chirino. She is my favorite penetration type student. She has the largest range of AoE skill. Also, the cost is pretty low compared to its effect. The X skill can be 600% damage to all enemies. The cost can be reduced to 5 when you level the skill to level 5. Of course. At level 1, X skill cost is 7. At level 3, it becomes 6. At level 5, it is 5. So when you get her, increase her X skill level as quickly as possible. You will have the best game experience after you do that. Besides, she has a unique passive skill. Her unique passive skill can speed up cost recovery. This skill is quite superior. This skill will be used in various scenarios. Imagine that you can one-shot monsters for each map in the campaign. It must feel so good. She is quite useful in the arena. You can always get a first hand with her. So I would say that this character is a must-have for free to play. In fact, everyone should take her. After having her, your game experience will improve quite a lot. Then, we have the next banner Yusu. I would say she is one of the biggest setups in Blue Archive. She is really useless. Please don't waste your gems on her. Let's just pass her quickly. And then we come to the next banner. I recommend everyone draw this student. She is one of the most powerful students in the game. Her name is Azusa. First of all, it is the best single target damage dealer in explosive type. Until this very moment, no one can beat her for her explosive damage. Whether you use her in the campaign or total assault, Azusa is always the MVP of your team. Often she can hit 400,000 damage on one target. So you have to get this student. And please pour all your resources into her. She will be your best friend as a free to play. This student will be with you all the time. You need her for all the events and total assaults. She is your number one damage dealer. Let's move to our next banner. That is Koharu. She is the best healer in total assaults. As a healer, she has one of the highest healing amounts. She is a top healer in this game. Moreover, she is also a very good support. She can deal damage and heal the teammates at the same time. But I don't think she is a must have for free to play. But if you are a low or medium spender, you can get her without hesitation. As a free to play, you need to consider how many gems are left at this point. If you have more than 400 recruitment points, you can get her no problem. You just have to decide on your own earning situation. For low and medium spenders, we can get more gems from the anniversary swimsuit event. The half anniversary packs are a great way to get some gems. This student is a very good one who can stay with you for a long time. Who doesn't like a student that can both heal and deal damage? Our next banner is Haifumi. I think it's not necessary to get her. She is a moderate support. Although she is a pretty good student. But if you have drawn the twins and Chirino, she will not have a place in the penetration team. Her situation is quite awkward. She is not weak but she is not very strong. I don't recommend free to play to draw her. For the Summer Skies wishlist event, I will talk about Azusa and Mashiro swimsuit version in my next video. Thanks very much for everyone's support. My subscription has reached 400. The next video will be a giveaway video for my gratitude. Peace out.